it's a glorious day of sunshine down here at Barfield as our first team prepared to take on Nesbitt Town Reserves in the quarter-final of the West Yorkshire League Cup. It's going to be a difficult game. Again, I say this every single week, but it's true. We've played them twice already this season, lost 2-1 and drew with them 2 all in the league. They've got a very experienced squad, um, so it will be a tough ask. We've had to change the team again due to absences and injuries, but it's a decent team that manager Dan Marshall's put out. Hopefully we'll be able to get the uh, win to get us through to the semi-finals, which could well be against Horse of St Margaret's, so we'll have to wait and see. Ground's looking nice and dry, it's looking like a good surface for football. Hopefully we'll have a really good game and get some good pictures for you all to watch. I'll see you all at halftime. Quick one with Joe Bannon, good to be back. Yeah, really good actually. Looking forward to today's game? A little bit. Yeah? Might be sick. Everywhere. <laughs> Have a good game with me. So if you guessed that Mike McCartney was the owner of those boots, you'd be absolutely right. So first question, Mike, why Nike boots? Um, do you know what? There's no reason. <laughs> I uh, kind of pick and choose but flip between Adidas and Nike. I just happened to like them and I thought I needed a pair of moulds, so I grabbed them, yeah. They do look stylish, I must <laughs> are, they, are they phantoms? Uh, I couldn't even tell you. I think so. Do, I. do you know when I played, do I have a black or black? Yeah. Or black, that's all they ever <laughs> wear, all these boots nowadays. Right, so mates, let's do a quick Q and A. Let's get people to know you. So, mm. your favourite team is Leeds. Back to the usual. Mm. I think we've yeah. only had one Barnsley <laughs> fan and maybe a different one. Everyone else is Leeds. Why Leeds? Why do you support Leeds? Um, my dad supports Leeds. I'm from here, so it's it a natural thing. Yeah. So, have you been to Ellen Grove? Yeah. Best game that you've seen at Ellen Grove? Um, this will game. Yeah. There's not been there's not been many because every time I tend to go, we lose. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I remember. I remember us being Hall once with a Pablo Hernandez chip, and that, that, that's that's about as good as it gets. I've not been that many times. He was a great player. Yeah, was quality. Shame you least couldn't have had him sort of like ten years younger than yeah. he was, because he would have been absolutely quality. Yeah, no, he's a great player. Who would you say is your favourite Leeds player? Calvin Phillips, without a doubt. Yeah. Calvin oh. Phillips. So I figured I'd say that. Is that <laughs> in the same position that you play as well? Uh, a little bit, but I just think it's quality. Like coming for the bow end, it's just it's class on and off the pitch. Like, yeah. Right. So, what does Kirk Deaton Rangers as a club mean to you? Oof, that's a good question. Um, it's like a, a team, like unity. Yes. Uh, we're, all, we're all in it together. That sort of thing. It's it's a real uh, like community atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Now, if I remember right, I used to watch you down at Wembley. Yeah, yeah. So I know you've played for a couple of clubs. Of all the grounds that you've been to, either at Deaton or at Wembley, or any of the other teams that you've played for as well, where would you say is the best one that you've ever played as a player? Um, I'd probably say uh, Harrogate Town. Played there in a final and had Harrogate Town won the penalties. That was probably the best. Best place. That wasn't with D in there. <laughs> was that when they had the old grass pitch or when they had the it was the, It was the last game of the grass pitch before they had renamed it VG. Wow. Of course, now they're going back to grass now. Yeah. Yeah. Leagues, aren't they? Brilliant. So, question that's dividing everybody. Uh, I think one player is in the league at the moment, but may well tie if, uh, if Mike um, chooses the other player. Who is a goat for you, Messi or Ronaldo? Ah, Messi. Messi is for me, yeah. Go on. Um, Ronaldo's class, but like what what Messi does is just no one else can do what he can do. Um, yeah, there's, there's no nothing else to it really. Fair enough. Listen, mate, have an absolute belting game. It's going to be a tough one yeah. today, but I think we can do it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Have a great game, mate. Cheers, Steve. Oh, 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 oh,
bit of a coup today. I've got uh, assistant manager Ben Lawrence with me, or head coach, as you like to be called. I think we, we also have we also have this discussion to Ben and I about what his <laughs> title is. I go over assistant manager. He says, "No, I'm head coach." So I've got Ben anyway with me. Going to be a tricky match, to say the least. Yeah, always a tricky game against Nesbury. I mean, Nesbury have always had good quality sides, first and second teams, uh, sides that we respect as well, yes. um, and we know quite well. I mean, it's a bit of a local derby for us, but when we play them. They're always competitive, and if you're not on your not on your A game, they will find the weaknesses and punish you. So it's up to us today. We've got a bit of a different team to what we usually have. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll be see how the lads react. But listen, it's a quick quarter final. If you can't get up for these games against uh, against Nairs, but then I mean, you know, quite some time playing them. So <laughs> shall go. Is it in some respects a shame that we're playing them today in the quarter final of this competition, then playing them in the final? on the, uh, Tuesday big round of the uh, Whitworth Cup. Would it, would it be nice to face a different team or are you quite happy to be playing the same team twice in a row? Uh, it's a tricky one really because um, I think I wouldn't like to play them today because it's going to be it, it's probably going to be tasty. Uh, there's going to be <laughs> probably some, some challenges going in. Players are probably going to sort of go out there to sort of, uh, not, not to sort of like they're going to be competitive in the tackles yeah. so anything can happen and you want your best teams uh, and your best players on the pitch on Tuesday night. So fingers crossed that both sets of players get through it okay, mm. uh, and it's a decent spectacle on, on Tuesday night. But I don't think it matters. At the end of the day, it's just no, it's another game. Another game. Um, and listen, when we play against Nairs, like I said before, Nairs will come and give us a good, good game. So Definitely. it's good preparation for when we do play him. Yeah. Uh, and listen, I mean, it's, it's no secret we, we haven't got all. You know what I mean? The bigger it is out today or anything like that. So it's just to see how, how we go today and see how some of these reserve players that have come in uh, fare against a decent quality opposition in the Premier League. So, listen, you, you've got to look to sort of the future as well as sort mm -hmm. of the present. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good stepping stone for some of these players that have come in today and a good opportunity for you to play well. You might get, get called upon Tuesday night. So, we'll see how it goes. Now, I've been lucky enough to be in the team talk that uh, both Keith and uh, Ben gave. What would be your, you know, what is the one thing that you're really looking for, for from this team? Just positiveness. Um, I think what we do tend to do at times is we like to sort of play football, and sometimes that's good. Um, we'll go out there and play football today, but I think we've got to be on the front foot. We've got to be positive. We've got to play forward when we can, where we can. Uh, and most importantly, I want for me, I want to see as, as wingers really sort of getting at the, at the back four as much as they can, and um, and. The front three linking up because I think last week we played against Henley um, and there was too much distances between the players. I thought when we went forward at times, um, we went forward like, as individuals, not as a team, yeah. not as, not as yeah. um, organised units. Um, and I think for me today, like I said before, is just go out there, be positive, enjoy it, uh, and just treat it as another game. Um, but, but we've got to be on that front foot, we've got to be forward thinking um, from back to front all the way through the game. Nice to get a win for the gaffer as well, as Paulie. Yeah, like I say, Dan can't with us today for like reasons that are out of his control. But um, he's obviously been on the on the phone last <laughs> night, last night, and all, all this morning, making sure all the jobs are done, the pitch is marked, uh, everything's done. He's, he's one of these play, uh, one of these managers that literally lives, sleeps yeah, the Brilliant. game, and um, he does a lot for this club. And it, it, I know he's absolutely gutted to uh, to be missing it. And I think fingers crossed that he gets a clear a clear sort of day tomorrow and he can be there on Tuesday night because um, he'll be devastated to miss that one. But listen, end of the day, we've got a good sort of group of staff around us um, at this club and we're quite lucky to have good people involved in the club that can sort of step in and do a job for him. So we shouldn't go far. Brilliant. Great game, Ben. Cheers, Thank man. you very much. Thanks Take care.
quick score prediction, Connor? Um, it's going to be a close one. Oh, I'm going to go 3 2 what? Rangers. Oh, I like it. Go I was on, James. also going to say 3 2 Rangers. Brilliant. So it's finally balanced at half time, it's 2 1 to Rangers. The first minute goal by Connor Wheel, and then Harvey Ribbons, who were tapping out the back post, gives, gave us a 2 0 lead. They've just scored before half time. More of the same, lads, hopefully, in the second half, and we'll get a few. <laughs>
3-2 to Rangers on penalties, two all after full time. Oh, we had some chances though, Adam Carter can think himself extremely lucky not to have scored during normal time. But John T proved to be the hero again during the penalty shootout and Adam Carter himself slotting away the winning goal. We're through to the semi-finals, but now the final of the Whitworth Cup on Tuesday. Come on, boys. And we're skipper Rob Holiday after a 3-2 penalty shootout win. We don't like to make it easy for ourselves, do we? Uh, no, we don't. But then again, we probably wouldn't be going to do it in a way if we didn't make it hard. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. What do you think of that game overall? Because 2-0 up. Um, I think, given the sort of, obviously, it's well documented that we had quite a lot of lads out missing quite a lot of way, but credit to the lads that came in. They were all quality. Um, went 2-0 up. We probably could have coasted a little bit, um, conceded a sloppy goal before half time and then sort of dug in in the second half. Um, even when they scored to make it 2 2, I think both sides probably had a few chances. Yep. Um, but we toughed it out like we normally do uh, and then Johnny pulled it out of the bag in the shootout. We're very lucky to have him, aren't we? He's a great goalkeeper. I, I was saying to the lads on the halfway line, I'd, I'd hate to take penalties against Johnny because he's just so big. Yes. He goes the right way every time and, and just saves them, so no, credit to him. Well, let's mention your spot as well, Mr. Cool as a cucumber or what? Ah, uh, well, captain responsibility to go first. <laughs> well done, mate. Absolutely super. Cheers, Pete.